Alright, today I'm going to be showing you how to get Spire or a Siri port working on your iPhone 4, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch 4th generation, or your iPad 1st generation. If you guys need help on how to know how to do it for the iPad 1st generation, um, PM me and I'll tell you how to do it. There's a couple steps. You have to have a jailbroken iPad 1st generation. Um, you just have to go into, you have to download iFile, and I'll give you all the information in there. I can show you that I have it actually working on my iPad. So here it is. This is my iPad 1. Touch it up. You can tell, it's an iPad 1. Um, 64 gigabyte iPad 1. Um, it's on iOS 5.0.1. There is Siri right there. Have it all installed. Um, it's a Spire port. I do have a server, but I do not want to give out my friend's server at the moment. Um, if you want, PM me, PM me, and I'll give you his email. You can pay him. I think it's like fifteen dollars a month. Fifteen dollars. It's like around that price. It's not too expensive, but it works perfectly. Have it on this iPad, perfectly working. Um, you can see it's an iPad. You can type that in. There's the model. Zoom in for you guys so you can see the model number. MB294LL. That is the model number. I'll show you that it works. Hello, Siri. Hello. See, it's actually working on the iPad first generation. What's the meaning of life? Just give it a sec. To think about questions like this. See, there you go. There's a whole bunch of questions you can ask. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Um, the button's a little. La that can't be right. The button down here is a little laggy. Like when you touch it, it'll disappear for a second and come back. But you can see it's really accurate. This is on my friend's server. Um, I'm technical support for his server at the moment. So I have all my devices working on his server besides my iPod Touch 4th generation over here. So I will show you guys on how to install it on an iPod Touch iPhone right now. Um, I have it on my iPhone 4. I'll show you it's an iPhone 4. I don't have the bar right there. Yes, and... There's the bar up top. This is the AT&T version. Um, with my device, I see I don't have a proxy server, so let me put my proxy server in there. Um, I I have a theme. Hello Siri. I have a theme to where my button is yellow, my whole background is yellow. If you guys Hello, want, Daniel. see there there you go. My name is Daniel. So that's the theme that I have on mine. Um, if I wanted to, I have a tweak that allow me to change the colors of the Siri. Siri button. I'm um, going to Cydia. This is Spire. If you download Spire, you're going to need a server proxy. For me, I found a way to do it on my iPod Touch 4th generation without a Siri, pro without a Siri proxy. Um, this is this Russian, I guess, tweak. You can see there's no spy or anything. If I go into general, Siri is right there. Works perfect. See, so watch. Hello, Siri. Hello, Daniel. Works perfectly. So I will show you how to do that right now. First, you want to go into Cydia. Have them on both devices. You can go into Cydia. Go to Manage Sources. You're going to want to download this one. Right there. Siri Port. Dot RU. Um, you come with three things in here. Probably got a text message up there. Um, it comes with three things. You come with the, the real Siri theme. That I have both of these installed and the Siri port. 
This is what I have on my iPod Touch right now. I'll put the repo in the description. This is what I have on my iPod Touch right now. You can see right here I have it, it says modify. It, 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 it. If I wanted to I can remove it. I accidentally pressed it, but I don't want to. Works perfectly. Like if you scroll down, just give it a second to load. It's going to be in Russian or German. I have no clue what language it is. But like if you scroll down, let it load up a little bit. You can see right there. Siriport.ru repo. Um, sometimes when it loads up, it'll tell you if it's online or not. Well, usually when I did it for my iPad, it would load up perfectly. Because it's a bigger screen. So I think it would work. So, there you go. That's how you would do it. You would download this. If it does not work at the moment, be patient. Because I think they're working on it right now. Um, but it does work without having a server. I've looked into iFile on both of these devices. Um, they automatically ported their server into the um, host. So, if you go into iFile, go to etc., and then go to host. They already have it in there. So it's already hooked up and everything in there for you. You don't have to do anything. Um, right here it says. First working server Siri. Slash some other crap that's in there. Don't know what that is. and Stuff like that. But it does work on all three of my devices. Um, I am donating an iPhone 4S key. For my dad's phone. I'm donating it to my friend so he can use it. His servers are working perfectly. If you guys need any other tweaks on how to actually install this, I'm showing you a preview of it right now on how you would actually install it. I'd give you the repos down there. Don't forget to subscribe up there. Hit the yellow button. Don't forget to comment, like, down below. And don't forget to add me on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. Um, I will be... I'll be working with a couple other people, um, working on this. If you send Jess an email, the guy that I'm working with, send him an email saying you, I sent you, Daniel sent you. That'll give me feedback from him saying that I got so many people working on the server, having going to the server and stuff. But also, before you do, before you try his server and pay, try this one. If this one doesn't work, I'd really recommend just uninstalling it, restore your device so you have a fresh restore, so there's no file corruption or anything with that, and download Spire. And then just email, find a free server proxy, make your own, do that. Um, that's about it, but they do work, and... Goodbye. Nice talking with you.